What's going on? Nickel Hedge DKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today, I'm bringing you a two for one. I'm bringing you the Yeti and Highwayman reworks slash buffs. Now, I'm going to be honest. I was shocked that they were even reworking or buffing either of these figures at all because they're both phenomenal, particularly Yeti. I had high hopes. I was like, hey, maybe with that Yeti rework, chill would get better maybe there'll be something going on with this taunt we didn't really get any of that we just got a slight little buff to his big snowball attack right it's still that big 150 damage 50 percent bonus damage if the foe has one or more debuffs we know the passive with if some if those debuffs are dizzy are gonna make it hit hard but guess what they just decided let's throw even more damage on this deals an additional 50% damage if the foe has clumsy. So this is direct synergy with my boy, Chicken Suit Man, right? C-S-M, or Chicken Suit Guy, it's Hot Dog Man, Chicken Suit Guy. Yeah, Chicken Suit Guy, big synergy with his ultimates. Really, really love this. So basically what you're doing is Chicken Suit Guy does his AOE, Yeti hits his ultimate. Chicken Suit Man then hits his ultimate. Yeti hits the snowball. It's gonna be a bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. These two are gonna be doing big damage together. Really do like Yeti on a collectible team with Chicken Suit Guy. Again, still excited to see what the two new collectibles are gonna do, but so far just by what they're giving other figures with that, passively giving other figures just by being on the team, I already like them and I can't wait to see their kits. Now, let's take a look at the other buff that we got. I went man. And got again, a little bit of a buff. I would have liked to honestly have seen some wanted synergies that are just thrown in there for the future so that we know like, hey, you know, wanted is going to be a tag at some point. Uh, here, it's gonna be good when there's enough figures. I would have liked to have seen that. We're not getting that. We're not even really getting collectible synergies. Like, at least with Yeti, it wasn't a direct collectible synergy, but it was a chicken suit man synergy. We're just, honestly, Highway Man's just getting little minor buffs here and there, and it's not a terrible thing. Uh, so with his passive, whenever he gains stealth, he has a 20% critical chance. So I think that's a, I think it was 15. I'll check on that right now as I'm recording this video but pretty sure that's a little bit of a tiny buff. Still, whenever he gains stealth, he's also gonna get speed up one for two turns. I mean, he's just, he's a sly devil. And the other um, buff, I actually really like this, the Showstopper Ultimate. It deals 150 base damage to a target foe, 25% bonus damage to for each debuff, which is really good, maximum of five. So that's a potential, what, 275 on his ultimate. I had always felt like, all right, his basic is 120, his special is 120, and his ultimate is 120. I mean, his, his ultimate should just be doing more base damage than the other ones. And yes, it was a 15% critical chance buffed up to a 20% critical chance. So really liking that. So again, just some minor tweaks really to buff up Highwayman. This, this is not big news, but hey, it's a little bit of a change. You guys definitely should know about this. I lumped it in with Yeti because they were just two, two really small things added on to these collectible figures. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.